guys, what's up? It's Lily. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to do a little high school advice vlog. Now, I wanted to make this video different in a sense where I'd get other people to give you advice, not just me, so you can get advice from multiple people who've either been through high school or are current high schoolers. This way you get the best advice possible for your high school experience. I'll insert all the videos first and then I'll go through my high school advice because I am going to be a senior this year so I'm basically educated in everything. <laughs> yeah, let's just get right on into the high school advice. Don't be afraid to try new things and say yes to a lot of things. Um, never try too hard on your looks because no one actually cares. My advice is to make connections with others because one day that might be very valuable. Risk it, just do it. Don't be afraid you're, next thing you know, like you might be a freshman and next thing you know, literally it's your senior year. Like, try, focus, but also have fun. You don't wanna be all, study 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 you want to have fun it's like make sure you participate do all the school dances and stuff like especially your senior year but your junior year it is true what everyone says of it is your hardest year it is but you just have to keep going don't give up second semester it's a lot what me and my friends did so don't do that because that's what colleges are going to be seeing. And just have fun. It's your four years of high school. My advice for high schoolers is do whatever the fuck you want. Nothing matters after you graduate. Okay, advice for going into high school. I would say schoolwork wise, um, it's hard to stay motivated. So try to pace your workout um, while you're doing it. Freshman year is pretty easy, but when it gets... To like junior and senior year, I would say pace out your work so it's not as stressful. To always mind your own business. My biggest tip for high school is to work on yourself for yourself while being able to try new things and have fun. Um, take advantage of your parents buying you everything because in college you're poor and you're on your own. My high school advice is to not stress about anything too much because it goes by really fast. So I wrote a list on my phone. Okay, so I have a ton of other high school advice videos I did one every year of high school. So my advice has probably changed, but one thing I do know that I said in every single video is stay involved. Being involved is probably the best thing you can do throughout your high school career. You can try new things, sign up for clubs, try new sports, just try to do everything you possibly can because this way you'll have other things going for you outside of school and then also you'll make a ton of new friends especially if you start stuff in the fall you'll get a good grip of friends and make more friends for high school by just joining those stuff and creating relationships with the people in the clubs another piece of advice i feel like people kind of overlook this one but it's to always take pictures because you know, when you're a senior and you're having your grad party, you're gonna wanna have pictures of you and your friends, of you doing cool things and fun things. So just take a ton of pictures, trust me. It's something you don't wanna forget to do just because you're gonna want those memories and you're gonna wanna see all the fun you had and what you looked like and who your friends were. So yeah, just take a ton of pictures. Um, I'm very fortunate because I have my whole YouTube channel and I've had that all of through high school and so I can literally go back and see my get ready with me for my freshman year of high school and it's crazy to me because it's like now I'm going to be a senior and wow time flew by and I have all these videos documented it's extremely cool to me and I mean most people don't have YouTube channels so just taking pictures is a good idea another piece of advice this is specifically for freshmen is to get good grades freshman year you know when i was a freshman our school district has its own freshman building so i didn't really feel like a freshman because i wasn't with all the other high schoolers it was just a building full of freshmen and so i did not really try my freshman year and i know a lot of people go through this that go in my school district just because you still kind of feel like you're in middle school 
Um, and I didn't really try my freshman year and I really regret it. I wish I could have tried harder and that's probably the one thing I would go back and change if I could is just trying harder. I also had my freshman year during COVID though, so kind of made my grades better because I could do pass fail. But um, yeah, definitely just try your best freshman year. Try to get those good grades because you're going to want them when you're older and it'll help you get into colleges that you might want to get into. I feel like also having good grades early on teaches you how to have good grades throughout the rest of high school, so it really does no harm. The next piece of advice is don't burn bridges. Oh my gosh, don't burn bridges, okay? Don't be the person that is mean. Don't be the person that everyone doesn't like. Don't be the person that is just so rude and like they don't care and they just do whatever they want like be nice to people don't burn bridges because who knows if you're going to want to be friends with this person later if it's to staff don't just treat all the staff with respect because they're there to help you even if it doesn't seem like it sometimes it can just be having a bad day or something but don't burn bridges with teachers staff workers anyone okay because that is probably the worst thing you could do because honestly you never know if you're going to need someone in the future and also like uh it's just kind of mean so like just make sure you're nice to people. <laughs> the next piece of advice is to use some sort of planning device, whether that's a planner, sticky notes on your folders or laptops, notes apps on your phone. I find that's really easy for a lot of people or on your computer there's notes apps um, or Notion. I love Notion. That's what I use the whole school year. It's amazing. If you don't know what Notion is, you can just search up a video on YouTube like Notion Tour a ton of aesthetic videos will pop up um anyways besides the point get something to plan because you don't want to fall behind it's extremely helpful and it makes you feel more organized and productive once you cross stuff off so yeah get a planner the next piece of advice is to create some sense of routine i heard this thing where they said that routine helps build happiness in people and i honestly think that's true so what i recommend is to have a routine for high school that could be waking up at the same time every single day, going to bed at the same time every single day, studying at the same time every single day, and that way you're not stressed because you're doing all these things in, you're doing all these things every day. It's very set, very orderly. The last piece of advice I have for you guys is to use your class time wisely. Now, I would always be like watching golf on my laptop while my teacher was playing was my while my math teacher was teaching me let's just say i didn't learn anything when i wasn't paying attention and it actually set me back because i'd have to go rewatch the videos he posted and study at home whereas if i just studied in the classroom i wouldn't have to do that i'd have extra time to work on the homework at home and it caused me to feel really stressed and anxious and i'd be so stressed for tests so just make sure you're paying attention in class um when i realized that wasn't working for me obviously i started paying more attention in class and then i'd start also working on my homework in class too to make sure i was retaining it and then that way i had all this extra time at home and i was using my class time extremely wisely and as boring as it can be sometimes like when a teacher's like here watch these videos take these notes like independently and you're just like oh i could just go on my phone during this class period because that's what everyone else is doing as much as it may suck to just do what they're telling you to do individually, it will benefit you so much. So, yeah, use your class time wisely. Thank you guys so much for watching this high school advice video. I hope it helped you guys. I love you all so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.